As a kid, my grandfather would tell me terrifying stories about World War II and the Holocaust. He talked about cattle cars, which were small railroad vehicles used to transport livestock to food markets. During the Holocaust, German police loaded over 100 Jewish adults into these cars without ventilation, food, or water in an effort to more efficiently transport them to concentration camps. From the conditions alone, many passed away over the four-day trip. The car symbolized the deep, dark descent that robbed victims of their families and freedoms. My grandfather was lucky enough to escape. Artist Igal Tamarkin aims to pay tribute to the victims of the Holocaust. A large portion of his works are memorial-style, abstract sculptures with loads of symbolism. As a young adult, Tamarkin worked in Israel as a theatrical set designer for his dad. It wasn't until he met artist Rudy Lehman that he turned to sculpting. Tamarkin's first few sculptures were reminiscent of the weapons, ships, and machines he saw during his time in the Israeli Navy. In his two years of service, he learned a lot about the aftermath of World War II. Those two years in the Navy went on to inspire the rest of his artwork. He wanted to combine Israeli ideals, war, and social situation with sculpting. Over time, the composition of his sculptures gradually changed. During the 1970s, he made visits to New York where he became fascinated with modern architecture. The verticality of the buildings amazed him. Tamarkin wanted to channel this new, prominent look into his artwork. Created in 1986, Chechen It's a White combines Tamarkin's obsession of modern architecture with a terrifying memory from World War II, cattle cars. This abstract sculpture consists of a small steel train resting on a short piece of track, alluding to the cattle cars. To the left and right of the track, two steel triangles bulge out from the ground, one being a little bit larger than the other. Upon closer inspection, it's apparent the train car is not actually able to roll down the track. Multiple obstacles hold the car still. One of which, a steel wire passed through a large ring, gives meaning to the seemingly unrelated name Chichen Itza. Chichen Itza comes from the name of a mine archaeological site in Mexico. The site was home to a talachi court, an ancient sport resembling modern basketball. Players would attempt to pass a solid rubber ball through their opponent's ring, reminiscent of the one used in Tamarkin sculpture. But how does this have anything to do with Israeli conflict, or even the Holocaust? Well, it turns out the indigenous people in the region were later swiftly defeated by the technology-savvy Europeans. The Mayan families, homes, and lives were ripped away from them. Their technology was no match for the Europeans at the time. Through Chichen Itza White, Tamarkin draws parallels between the Europeans destroying Mayan lives and Nazi Germany's genocide on the Jews. The sculpture makes a bold statement about one group of people dominating another. The steel cable and ring representing Mayan destruction and the train car alluding to cattle cars. With such a disturbing topic, it must have been difficult for Tamarkin to settle on a color. Going with a neutral color, such as white, may help to portray the emotion he intended to give off. A more vibrant color may help the individual shape or shapes of the sculpture to pop visually against the background of the landscape. Based on his artwork, it's clear that this was something Tamarkin was interested in. He created copies of many of his sculptures, changing only the color between replicas. Chechen is a blue, for example, located on the campus of Rutgers University, feels different in such a dramatic color. Yes, it helps the sculpture pop from the background, but it doesn't seem to give off the same undertone as the white variant. Chichen Itza, no matter the color, presents deep, dark ideas in an abstract way. Tamarkin elegantly combines sculpting with a memorial dedicated to the millions of lives lost from oppression. Chichen Itza reminds us of those dark times, so history won't repeat these mistakes again.